My dear friends, let us begin our Eucharistic celebration by humbly but gratefully blessing ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Uh, my dear friends, I thank the sisters, the Carmelite sisters, for inviting me to say Mass Tagadiriman ko, ilonggo man ako. So, um, I'm happy to be here to celebrate Mass with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us humbly recall our sins and ask for the Lord's pardon. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, and that I have I greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord God, you will that the Order of Carmel should be named in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, mother of your son. Through her prayers, as we honor her today, bring us everlasting joy in her company. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. After the death of Jehoiada, the princes of Judah came and paid homage to King Joash, and the king then listened to them. They forsook the temple of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and began to serve the sacred poles and the idols. And because of this crime of theirs, wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem. Although prophets were sent to them to convert them to the Lord, the people would not listen to their warnings. Then the Spirit of God 
possessed Zechariah, son of Jehoiada, the priest. He took his stand above the people and said to them, God says, why are you transgressing the Lord's commands so that you cannot prosper? Because you have abandoned the Lord, he has abandoned you. But they conspired against him, and at the king's order, they stoned him to death in the court of the Lord's temple. Thus, King Joash was unmindful of the devotion shown to him by Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, and slew his son. And as Zechariah was dying, he said, May the Lord see and avenge. At the turn of the year, a force of Arameans came upon against Joash. They invaded Judah and Jerusalem, did away with all the princes of the people, and sent all their spoil to the king of Damascus. Though the Aramean force came with few men, the Lord surrendered a very large force into their power because Judah had abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers. So punishment was meted out to Joash after the Arameans had departed from him, leaving him in grievous suffering. His servants conspired against him because of the murder of the son of Jehoiada, the priest. He was buried in the city of David, but not in the tombs of the kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. I will make his posterity endure forever and his throne as the days of heaven. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. If his sons forsake my law and they walk not according to my ordinances, if they violate my statutes and keep not my commands. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I will punish their crime with a rod and their guilt with stripes, yet my mercy I will not take from him, nor I will belie my faithfulness. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. became poor although he was rich so that by his poverty you might become rich The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. 
They gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not you more important than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? So do not worry and say, what are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. Sisters and brothers, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, before I continue, I also want to uh, proudly say I'm a classmate of one of the sisters here, of the nuns here. I'm a classmate of Sister Mary Joseph Therese. I cannot see her, but she's there before us, hidden. So I'd like to begin with uh, a story, uh, a true story, because it's about me. And it happened many years ago in one of my visits here in Bacolod. And I happened to be uh, with my elder brother, my only brother. My brother likes to uh, joke with me. So he said to me, I was a seminarian then. He said, since you are a seminarian studying theology, I have a riddle for you. Sa Tagalog, bugtong, di ba? Ambut sa Bisaya, Ilonggo, I don't know, sorry. Anyway, the riddle goes like this. What is greater than God? More evil than the devil? The rich lack it. The poor have a lot of it. What is evil than God? More, sorry. What is greater than God? More evil than the devil? The rich lack it. The poor have a lot of it. And I could not answer. And my brother said, Huh? I thought you're a student of theology. Here is my son, my five-year-old son. His son was like that. Then, now he is like that. <laughs> anyway, he said, he could even answer my question. So, of course, na pressure ako. I have to find the answer. So, he repeated the question. Uh, what's the answer pala? What is greater than God? More evil than the devil? The rich lack it. The poor have a lot of it. I still could not answer. So, he called his son. Anak, you come here. You tell your magaling na tito. What is the answer? And his son answered, Tito, the answer is nothing. Nothing. Right? What is greater than God? Nothing. What is more evil than the devil? Nothing. The rich lack nothing. Well, material things. And the poor have a lot of nothing. So, my brother said, you know what, my son, the first question pa lang, kabalo na siya sang sabat. And so, it's really true, no? 
we cannot enter the kingdom of God if our faith is not like the faith of children. Because the children know, automatic, nothing is greater than God. Pero kita, when we were younger, we were like that. And then when we started growing older, what happened? We think there is something greater than God. Diba? What happened to us? That's why we think the answer is in money, possessions, power, even in our families. We think our families are greater than God. Mas importante pamilya. Look at our poor country, the Philippines, suffering under a lot of political dynasties. Nga ah, kay ginauna ang pamilya. Ay, hindi man tanan guru, no? Pero bato-bato sa langit, ang matamaan, huwag mangakig. <laughs> Di ba? Mas una ang pamilya kaysa sa will sang ginoo. But that's it. There is nothing greater than God. So if there is nothing greater in God, it is true what Jesus says in our gospel reading today. You cannot serve two masters. Right? If we think there is someone greater than God or something greater than God, then if we think they are greater than God, they will be our master. But Jesus is saying, there is only one Lord, one master, Jesus Christ. And we live our lives according to that. The Lord, there is nothing greater than God. That's why... It says also here, Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So, in other words, our number one priority in life is money. Amen? Buti na lang. I'm just checking if you're still awake. <laughs> Okay, sometimes when I say that, they answer right away, Amen! Then I say, huh? Okay, sometimes nagkakatulog na sila. <laughs> so I just check. There is nothing greater than God. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Some people even think the Mass is greater than God. Ah, basta makasimba lang ako. Okay na na. Even if they're not praying well, they're just sitting there. Basta makasimba. But they forget the Mass is not a Mass for itself. The Mass is pamaagi to encounter the Lord. Amen? Amen? Abuti. Very good, very good. Abi ko, hindi naman ka magsabat. Pamaagi lang na. The sacraments, the novenas, the rosaries. Di ba? Pinaka-importante, ginoo. But all these other things, the mass, the sacraments, the novenas, the rosaries, etc., etc., are only ways to get closer to God. So, if we are just, say, at attending mass, praying the rosary, novena, but we are not growing closer to God, para ke? Di ba? What's the use? Okay, the important thing is to get closer to God. And how do we know we are growing closer to God? How do we know? We are becoming more and more like Him. Diba? Because your friend, you become more and more like your friend. Birds of the same feather flock together. Am I becoming more patient? Am I becoming more loving? Am I becoming more understanding? Am I becoming more forgiving? If I am, then I am becoming more like my Lord. My prayers are working. But if we keep on praying, hearing Mass, Novena here, Rosario there, but we do not change, especially in the way we treat people, especially the lower ones, we are not becoming like God. We are not getting closer to God. 
And lastly, it says here also, why worry? Diba? If we are worrying, what does that mean? Wala kita pagtuo sa ginoo. Diba? If we worry a lot, we think there is something greater than God. If we worry a lot, we doubt the love of God. Diba? Jesus said, that's why I love you. I'm hanging there because I love you. And then we doubt His love. We keep on worrying. Ay, ano to? Ano mo tabo? Amo ni, amo na. Tani, amo ni, tani, amo na. Worry, worry, worry. And what does it say here? Did worrying add a single second to our life? Nothing. Nothing. So please, my dear friends, of course we have to face the realities of life, but to remember our God is greater, God's love is greater, and guess what? This God made a promise. He will never abandon us. But will we abandon Him? That is the question. So in our Mass today, we pray for the grace to remember there is nothing greater than God. But it's not enough to just remember and believe that. We have to show it through our lives, our actions. Amen? And also, to show our faith in God by not worrying. We face the troubles, the challenges of life, but knowing that our God, our God's love is greater than these. And we do all that we can, sure, do our best. But in the end, Lord, I have done all I can. Bahala ka na, Lord, sa akun. Amen? So let us continue our Mass, asking for these graces so that we can follow Him more closely, we can follow Him more genuinely. Thanks be to God. Let us all rise. My dear friends, Jesus acknowledged our earthly needs when he told us to ask God our Father for our daily bread. Nonetheless, he asked us to trust totally in God and seek no security other than God himself. Let us now pray to the Father in confidence that our response be, Lord, keep us safe from all distress. Lord, keep us safe from all distress. May we let nothing to disturb us, nothing to frighten us, for whoever has God lacks nothing. We pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us, us safe, safe from, from all distress. distress. May we work as if all depends on us, at the same time pray as if all depends on God. We pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us safe, safe from, from all distress. distress. May the Lord deliver us from useless anxiety that paralyzes us and leads us to despair. We pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us safe from, from all distress. distress. May we sow seeds of hope in desperate situations with a conviction that God is able to make everything work unto good. May we nurture this hope with small gestures of care, affection, and prayer. We pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us safe, safe from, from all distress. distress. May we live simple lives and not succumb to inordinate consumption and accumulation of things that we do not really need. We pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us, us safe, safe from, from all, all distress. distress. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Lord, amid the passing things of the world, amid the changes 
you alone are changeless. Your presence in us is the only stable thing in our lives. Strengthen us with the conviction that with you, things will be all right. Amen. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we reverently offer you these gifts in memory of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. In your service, may our love become like hers, and so unite us more closely with the work of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Carmel. Your word filled her heart and inspired all her actions, making her constant in prayer with the apostles and through her share in our salvation, constituting her the spiritual mother of all mankind. She watches unceasingly with a mother's loving care over the brethren of her son, and lights us along our pilgrim way to the mount of your glory, our beacon of comfort, and the embodiment of all our hopes as members of the church. Now, with all the saints and angels, we praise you forever. As we say, Holy...
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Patricio, our Bishop, the clergy, and all the people whom your Son has gained for you. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Let us pause for a moment to remember our beloved faithful departed. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
us free. Lord, you have strengthened us with food from heaven. May the remembrance of Our Lady of Mount Carmel always bring us happiness and peace in the knowledge of her protection. And help us to become what you want us to be. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. So once again, I'd like to thank the sisters here in Mount So, dear friends, uh, once again, I'd like to thank the sisters for inviting and welcoming me to say Mass uh, in this uh, venerable uh, monastery. And uh, I'd just like to humbly ask for prayers for us, your priests, to help us in, in our mission to be faithful to the Lord. You hear many sad stories of priests who are just there for themselves, and it causes scandals. So please pray for us to put God first, to serve you better, more faithfully, and uh, let us uh, keep each other in our prayers. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love, serve the Lord, and one another. Thanks be to God.